Hello, my name is Greg Harley and welcome to part two of Task Listeners and Parse Handlers. In part one, we introduced a task listener, which would, when associated with a human task, add a custom button that would start another process. In part two, we're going to introduce parse handlers. Parse handlers are sets of code that get executed during deployment of a case or process. In this instance, we're going to add a parse handler that automatically adds the task listener element to any human task that has a category set. So let's get started, shall we? First, we open our IDE. I have a folder ready to create our new class. We'll create our new class. We'll call it um, <clears throat> task SLA parse handler to stay in line with the documentation. This is a class and it <coughs> excuse me, implements the BPMN parse handler interface. Okay, we should have some import here and create the unimplemented methods. <clears throat> the methods we need to override are basically the method that determines what types are handled, what types of, uh, of task are handled by this particular um, parse handler, and obviously the parse method itself. In our case, <clears throat> we are going to uh, implement this parse handler for user tasks. They can just as easily be service tasks, uh, manual tasks, or script tasks. But for us, it's going to be service tasks. So let's types and okay. Imports. Okay. <clears throat> uh, now we'll add the type that we're going to implement. And that type is the user task. Look. Okay, great. All right. And then finally, we will re return types. All right, so <clears throat> what we've done is we've told the system that this particular parse handler is going to be working with user types. All right, so now let's actually do the work of um, <clears throat> loading the um, task listener. Uh, first, we have to get the user task. Or cast the user task, I should say. The element, okay. Get the category from that user task. Category. And now, if the category is um, populated, we are going to add the task listener. So, <clears throat> it's not. It's not empty. It'll do. It's 
Don't have to. We will go and do something. All right. So the category is determined to be not empty. So well, let's create a flowable listener. Listener, we will set the implementation type. Set implementation type to OK. To implementation type dot. Um, what's it going to be? It's a delegate expression, I believe. To dot delegate. Sorry. Implementation type delegate expression. Okay, good. All right, so we've set it to a delegate expression. We're now going to <coughs> define what that expression is. This is the expression that we that we uh, put into the user task in the original exercise um, as a task listener on the create event. But now we're just going to put it into the parse handler. So implementation, here we are. And we're going to basically put the delegate as it, as it was entered Listener, task is attention listener. There, that's a string that looks pretty good. All right, make sure that you get the spelling right here. Um, all right, now we're going to de define the event. Listener, <coughs> so let's set the event, the event, and the event for us is going to be um, task listener dot uh, event name create there we are okay so we're going to, we're going to put this uh, delegate for expression called the uh, task SLA initialization listener which is what we created um, <clears throat> in the first exercise and we're going to add that to the create event all right now let's add that to the task listeners the existing uh, task listeners. So we go and use a task. task. Well, first off, we get the existing task listeners. Get task listeners. All right. Now we add the create listener that we've just built. Excellent. All right. That all looks pretty good. <clears throat> save that so we're not quite done yet we also have to tell the system that we are um, uh, we have to register this parse handler into the system and we do that inside a <clears throat> as a inside a, a spring uh, a pro, uh, engine configuration configurer it's a it's a spring mechanism we have some specific ones that are available to flowable so let's create ourselves a bean okay what's that telling me oh, it looks all right for now and we'll create a bean and we're going to uh, engine configuration okay configuration configurer all right and we're going to use the spring process engine 
engine configuration as the type and we'll just call it the custom task listener uh, task that's task SLA um, custom task SLA process engine engine configuration configurer quite a quite a mouthful right there all right Some task SLA. Okay, that's fine. We're good. We're good so far. All right. So first, now we've got to basically return a process engine configuration. So let's do that. Process engine configuration. Um, and we will that okay process engine configuration first we get a list of all existing parts handlers okay of bpm parts handler right so we're going to get a list of bpm parts handler, handlers uh, we'll call it parts handlers uh, <coughs> um, so process engine engine configuration dot get post past handlers there it is get the BPM and pass handlers so we're getting a list of the ex existing ones if that list do a bit of a null check here so let's um, if the pass handlers is null we create a new Array list. Great. All right. What have I got going on here? Uh, I misspelled it here, so it looks better. Right there we are. <clears throat> so if it's null, we're going to create a new um, pars handler. And now, whether it exists or not, we're just going to add the pass handler we just created into the list of existing ones. Task SLA pass handler. There it is, right at the top. Okay, so we're going to add that into the into the configuration. And now we're just going to save it back into the process engine configuration. Process engine configuration. Set pars post 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 BPM in pars handlers. Right. And we're going to just call it pars handlers. All right. Okay. So what we've done here, we've basically taken the, pro the existing process engine configuration. We've, ret we've retrieved the list of existing pass handlers. Um, there are some pass handlers that are built into the system and by default, so we need to do this. If for some reason that was null, um, we create a new a, a new array. If it's not null, uh, we well either way we add the new task listener pass hand task SLA pass handler that we've just created to the list and we set it back into the process engine configuration. All right. <coughs> That should now be enough to get us going. So let's run this application. Oh, what have we done? Missing something here. Task this way. All right. All right. Let's try that again. Hey. That looks better. So now let's go and make the modif necessary modifications to our application. So here we have the demo application that we built in the last exercise. We'll open that up. We have our demo process. 
<coughs> and here, task one, if we go down and have a look, we have ta uh, task listeners assigned. And it's the same delegate, delegate expression that we have just added. Let's now remove that because we don't need it anymore. But we now need to set the category. The category can be anything because we're not actually testing for anything in particular. So we'll just make it anything. Oh, missed it. Good. Category is now anything associated with task one. Task two has no category. So what we would expect is for the custom button to show up on task one. Let's save that. We'll now deploy it. Successfully deployed. We'll go across to global work, logging in as the default user for now. All right, so now let's now start a new process. All right, demo process. All right, do we wish to continue? Yes. And now notice task one has the custom button associated. You go to task two and it does not. So that's nice. Let's now go, now go back to the model. Okay, and let's add the category. To task two, not rather than task one. We'll save that and deploy it. Okay. We'll now create another new process. Demo process. Notice task one no longer has the custom button, but task two does. Complete task two. This completes the part two of task listeners and parse handlers. Thank you for joining me and bye for now.